Whatever.com. Man, this chat's on fire today, isn't it, Mike? It is in fuego now, isn't oh, it? Oh, man. What's going to happen when school starts back up? It's just going to be crazy. Oh, there's going to anyway. be celebrations everywhere, Brian. There, there are lots of them. Yeah. Hey, let's go to the phones. If you want to give us a call here today, 844-913-2727. Text messages, 425-780-7566. Let's all enjoy ourselves today. You're on the air. What's going on? Hey, Brian, Nikita from Sacramento here. I just finished reading through the Audible version of The Death of WCW. Really enjoyed it. Had a really uh, good time listening to your voice reading those words. Had a question for you. I was wondering what you think was the biggest lesson learned by AEW from the WCW fiasco. Oh, my God. I want to thank you very much for the call. (laughs) The biggest lesson learned... By AEW from the WCW fiasco. Man. As you ponder that... uh, Actually, you know what? I'll I'll just say this very quickly. The one big thing that I've noticed, the big difference... I mean, one of the biggest differences, I think, is when, when WCW and the Monday Night Wars first took off, okay? It was built around bringing in stars from the other company. Right, they brought in Hulk Hogan, and he drew big money for them in '94. They brought in Randy Savage. They ended up bringing in Hall and Nash. A bunch of people from WWF came in, and a lot of them, by the way, the the ones that made the most money at the beginning were the ones who were stars in the '80s, and all of the all of the young kids in the '80s that got older and got out of wrestling, and they were now teenagers. They saw all these wrestling stars from the '80s again, and they wanted to see what was up, and they got into it. Okay, so that's what helped build WCW during the Monday Night Wars. But then, but then, they just kept pushing these old guys, and they kept pushing these old guys, and they had all of this young talent, but they never elevated the young talent. Okay, so when I watch AEW now. They did a similar thing with Jericho. They brought in Chris Jericho. They made Chris Jericho the champion. Like, Chris Jericho was was clearly the MVP of AEW for the first year. But the company is not all about using older WWE stars. They brought him in. They made him the champion. Right now, John Moxley is the champion, but he's not like a 45-year-old guy. And you can see when you watch the show that they're doing everything they can to elevate the younger AEW stars. So they're already doing now what WCW never did and what led to WCW collapsing. That and like completely ridiculous, horrible booking, which I don't even think AEW could do that if they wanted to. I, I don't think Tony Khan or anybody there is capable of being as bad at booking as Vince Russo and the Kevin Nashes of this world that sunk that ship. 